Hey guys, what's up? This is Seth. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to program this light switch from LA Grip. If you have a light switch in your house or your building that looks anything like this, chances are this video will help you. So first step is to get the plate off your wall like I've already done here. Then you have to take this thing off and I think the instructions tell you to put a screwdriver in there, but I can just take it right off with my fingers like that. And once you get this far, you're going to see three dials. This first one over here on the left is to control the timeout. So basically once this motion sensor stops sensing motion. This is how much time it's going to take for the lights to turn themselves off. And there's a few different modes here, so I'm just gonna quick explain those. So when it's turned all the way counterclockwise like this, all the way to the left, it's set to test mode. And really the whole purpose of this test mode is for the lights to turn off after 30 seconds. And the idea behind this is just to test out the motion sensitivity in the room, like when this sensor can and cannot sense motion. So if you wanted the lights to turn themselves off after 30 seconds, you could just leave it just like that. But if you wanted this to last a little bit longer, you could turn it to the zero. So I'm gonna do that right here. And then once it's pointing to the zero, this means that the lights are going to turn off after one minute of not sensing any motion. If you wanted to make this a little bit longer, you could turn it to the one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then once it's turned to the one like this, this means that the lights are going to turn off after five minutes of not sensing any motion. If we turn it over here to the two like that, now it's going to turn the lights off after 15 minutes. And if we turn it over here to the three, now it's going to turn the lights off after 30 minutes. So there you go. Whether you want it to turn off after 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes, that's how you can do that. In my house, I usually have these things turning off after one minute. So I'm gonna put it right back here. So moving on to this next dial right in the middle. So what this controls is the sensor sensitivity. So in other words, how much motion should it take in the room to trigger the lights to turn on? If you want it to be highly sensitive, like any kind of movement where you turn the page of a book or something like that, then you would want it set to the highest sensitivity setting, which I believe is what it comes programmed at by default. This was how it was when I just took this out of the box. But if you want it to be at its lowest sensitivity setting, you would turn it all the way over here. And I think most people will probably want it at high sensitivity, but say if you had this thing set up in a hallway or a gym or someplace where there's a lot of motion and you don't necessarily want every little movement to turn the lights on for some reason, then that's why you might want to set it to this. But again, I think in most applications, most people will probably want it at high sensitivity. So that's where I'm gonna set this thing. And then lastly, over here on the right, this dial controls the light sensitivity. So if you want this light switch to turn on the lights, regardless of how much ambient light there is in the room, like in this example, this light switch is positioned right next to a window. So there may be cases where if there's enough ambient light coming in from outside, you don't necessarily want these lights to turn on all the time because there's already enough light in the room as it is. However, when it's nighttime, then you do want it to turn the lights on because there's no ambient light outside. And you can control that with this dial. So if it's turned all the way to the right like this, pointing to the three, then this switch is gonna turn on the lights whenever it senses motion, regardless of how much light is or isn't coming from outside. So if you just always want it to turn the lights on whenever it senses motion, this is where you would want it. Now, if we turn it to this one right here, so this is kind of like the opposite where it's only going to turn on the lights when it sees motion and it's completely dark. So if there's any ambient light coming in from outside, it's probably not gonna turn those lights on, but if it's pitch black, then it's going to trigger those lights to come on. Now, if we move it here to this two, so this is kind of like middle of the road, and I'm not exactly sure where the line is in terms of how much light it's gonna take for the switch to say yes or no. So you might have to play with this a little bit to decide, okay, I think this is a good amount, or I don't think this is a good amount, and just revisit this a few times throughout the day so you can decide how much light is too much to have the lights turned on. But anyway, the whole idea behind this too is to only have it turn on the lights when there is a dim amount of ambient light. Whatever dim means, I'm not sure. You'll have to decide that for yourself. And if you turn this all the way counterclockwise like this. So this will set it to vacancy mode, which means this light is only going to turn on when you come in here and push this button. And then once it's on, it will stay on as long as it senses motion. And then when it doesn't sense motion anymore, it's going to default to this timeout mode that we set here. And this is what we call vacancy mode, where it's never gonna turn on those lights unless you push it. And then once you have pushed it, it's going to default to the timeout settings you have over here on this dial right there. And I'm personally gonna set mine over here for now. And then once you have this all set up however you want to do it, you just go ahead and put this thing back on 
and push it in like that and then it's good to go. And again, if you ever want to get back here and change those ambient light settings or the motion sensitivity settings or the timeout or whatever, it's pretty easy. You just take this thing off like that and it's right there. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your light switch.